fantastic. That's great. And um, a lot of our tutors sort of get a little scared when we start mentioning modes and things like that. Um, okay. uh, do you try and sort of develop pentatonics into modes or, or find some crossover with Well, it? yeah, I mean, I mean, if we do this in like E minor, for example, like, I mean, when I, when I first done, I sit down and I go, right, okay, um, you've got a pentatonic shape, which is generally just, you know, which is just generally your first, um, you know, which is, yeah. So handy tunes yeah. up as well. It's yeah, another yeah. lesson. No, again. it's just gone out a little bit. That's <laughs> Okay, yeah, um, so yeah, you've got your first position pentatonic there, which you do. And then uh, I try and get people to just learn one three note per string um, scale within that key as well. So I suppose you'd probably look at um, natural minor, uh, which looks like this. Um, which is... Uh, something that, that you can do. I mean, if you learn like any alternate picking patterns and stuff like that, uh, three note per string stuff is really good. Um, I mean, you, the, the, the sort of first one I ever did was something like this. I mean, I'll play it up to speed and I'll slow it down so mm. it'd be like... So it'd be something like that, but it, you're just literally playing in the same direction. So you start with your first six notes, yep. and then you start that again from the next string down. So you do this. Really? It's actually, now you've broken it down, it, it looks pretty simple, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, and then just start with a downstroke, so you, you just... Uh, and you've started downstroke because it's a three note per um, string scale, is yes, that why you downstroke yeah, first? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, but I mean, it's, it's a good thing to, to practice like your alternate picking, um, you know, do, doing stuff like that, and it's a relatively simple scale to do, um, you know, especially to get at a reasonable speed. Mm. Um, and